Laid to rest, the father and son who were killed in a mass shooting in Annapolis last week had their funeral earlier today. In total, six people were shot at a birthday party. Nicholas and Mario Morales were among the three people who died. Dennis Valera joins us live now with more on how these three today during the funeral were being remembered. Dennis? Denise, they're being remembered as community staples, the kind of people that would give their shirt off their back and really help you anytime you're in a pinch. Close friends telling us it's just terrible that this happened to such nice people. Family and friends packed St. John Newman Catholic Church in Annapolis, giving their final goodbye to Nicholas and Mario Mireles, the 55-year-old father and 27-year-old son, taken too soon. Pain of these last days since September, uh, since June 11, has been unbearable. These precious children, these widows, these grieving families will continue to need our help. The pair remembered as helpful hands in the community. They will give you the shirt off their back. They will come running if you call them. They will always be there for you in need. This is the worst thing that could have happened to any of us. You see how many people are here that account to how many lives that they've touched and how many people truly cared about them. He, he took every day by day and he took his time to build up and try to be better as a person for real. The two were shot and killed on June 11th during a birthday party for Mario's brother at a home in the 1100 block of Paddington Place. Charging documents show before the shooting, police got a parking complaint from suspect Charles Smith's mother that their driveway was blocked. Mario went to talk it over, leading to an argument that quickly escalated. In total, six people got shot. Mario, his father, and his friend Christian Stagovia died. He died from a person that out of sheer ignorance and hate, and he did not deserve this. His family didn't deserve this. Now, the third victim who died, Christian Segovia, he had his funeral last weekend. The suspect, Charles Smith, he's due back in court on July 12th for a preliminary hearing. Reporting live, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ.